major universities are now fighting back against the usage of AI, and I honestly have no idea how they intend to accomplish this. Apparently, a Yale computer science class found that roughly 30% of all the students enrolled were using AI to write code for them. They claim that they have nearly irrefutable proof that these students used it. That is quite a claim, because you cannot say with 100% certainty that somebody used AI. There's programs like GTP0 and other ones that have been designed to detect AI, but they're inefficient, and they can never be sure. My scientific writing, for example, does flag for AI because it's extremely concise and uses the same tone throughout. Maybe computer science is different. Maybe if you ask that question to a chatbot, it'll give you the exact same answer every time. But I have tried using GPT to help me with code, and it doesn't work. It's not very effective. It gives me wrong answers. What it can do is figure out where there's a period instead of a comma in these 400 pages of code. That, that it's pretty effective at. The university is asking students who used AI to step forward and accept a 50-point deduction, or they can go through academic honor policies, and that's going to be on their record forever. When they apply for a job and that job wants to see their college transcripts, it'll flag. They will see it. It has long-reaching consequences. For my classes, I get around it a bit with several mechanisms. First off, we have assignments that build on each other. And then for the final exam, they have to write about the assignment they created. And that is a large chunk of their score. I also put blank prompts. So if they just copied and pasted a prompt, then they're also going to be copying white text. And I've asked GPT to say something like banana as the first word in the third sentence. And it's pretty darn obvious, but I do not send them directly to honors. I give them the opportunity to either receive a zero for the assignment or go to academic honors to argue their case. So far, no one has ever wanted to argue it. I will take this moment to tell you that you should be very careful what you are feeding to an AI. These are not encrypted chats like Signal. Granted, we did see some interesting things in American news with Signal recently. These things are capable of being hacked pretty easily. Actually, the next time there's a data leak, whatever you've been doing with your AI may end up being used against you. That includes personal details like banking information. It could be personal information, or it could just be stuff that you talk to your AI about that you would never want anyone to see, ever. You better be real sure whatever you're doing with your AI bot, you assume that a developer is going to see it or you assume it could be used as leverage. Don't do it. Also, if you are using it for creative endeavors, yeah, just don't. You can do that on homebrew AI that you run on your computer at home because that stuff could be leaked and then your work could be stolen. What a, what a thought. People stealing stuff generated with AI 